cooked with some lime. What would you call it? The Megillah curry. <laughs> the what? Megillah curry. <laughs> That's what all the Americans call me. They didn't even know I was saying my name. How old were you when you knew this would be what you want to do with the rest of your life? Jeez, I think it was kind of instant. Take your hold, keep your go, baby, go and show yourself. Say your game, I'll be patiently waiting till time runs out. Getting close now. All the stories that you tell were beautiful imagination. And you should have told them about what you've been to your way. Uh, born in the UK, uh, grew up pretty much here in South Africa. We moved here when I was five. I haven't really moved out of the Burger Central at all in the last 20, however many, 23 years. My mom's never been into it. Um, no one. My sister's nothing. My stepdad plays like a lot of snooker. I think I started surfing when I was nine, ten. Like a year or two before I started cutting. And then I started cutting and realized like there's no ways I'm paddling out in waves ever again. So I got lazy. Now I'm getting fat. But yeah, it is what it is. I yeah, I started wakeboarding, uh, hydrofoiling, prone foiling, wing foiling. Um, I did a bit of motocross for a while, but oh, I just started picking up paragliding, but I'm really scared of heights, so that's been <laughs> challenging. Um, but yeah, it's getting there slowly. Oh shit, I hit a bend. <laughs> Literally in the last year, there's been like three of those people that I know, like three families returned because they're just like, life's just, there's everywhere else in the world has other problems. And it's like, oh, look at that little fucking banger right. The amount of work we do and like the niche we're in, like there's probably more astronauts in the world than there are kite designers, so. Yeah, I, I mean, back in the day when I wanted to go on tour when I was a kid, like they had this tour called the KPWT, which was like about you had to compete and be do well in three disciplines um, to be able to win the tour. Wow, I got that big. Um, and for me, that was like the goal was to try and be good at everything: racing, wave riding, jumping, freestyle. Wow, there's a banger left as well.
seems to be a big change in what what's happening with kites and I think it's going to get to a point where riders will probably have specific kites for themselves. Oh, cutting is my life, it's about everything to me. It's like from this car to Crystal to the house to Cola to all my friends, like to all the people I have, I'm friends with overseas, like it's sport everything to me literally. It's a good question, I'd probably be a drug dealer. Uh, I don't know when I was what, what kind of drugs? Fuck knows. I never do uh, drugs, but maybe I'll be a good drug dealer because I wouldn't try my own product. How many pieces of bridal do you want? Like it's quicker just to like physically look at it, take a photo on the phone, and then just be like, okay, that doesn't look right that section. So what would work? And then you can. Sometimes I take my computer with me and I redraw the bridle and get a measurement and then make that measurement quickly. At the beach. Yeah, because I mean this is like. If you know the thickness of the line, you can work out how much you lose when you make that knot. I can normally have a permanent marker with me and a pen and a ruler. Bulgaria. Let's ignore that. Oh, look at that. That's how you know. And it felt so tired off coming up the car. So draining. It never ends. But it never starts. You can't complain. Somewhere in Europe. Uh, wind direction. 
and then Cat Doctor, which is Cat Sun Doctor. Chinook, I'm 99% sure that is uh, Canada, in the wind direction. And then Army Han, I Googled that the other day. Got a new job, way better job. Got into a position that's like one in a million, so super, super lucky. One in a million, one in a billion. My goal is to have a really well built kite. Um, something that's like makes my name not as a rider anymore, but more as like a designer, so people can recognize from being a rider to doing R&D to becoming a kite designer. Like see that whole process or see me go through it and be like, fuck, that's something we can do. Uh, 2023 will definitely be my first ever full production kite. So that's exciting. Um, I've got some boards that are being made. Is it cut, uh, No, it was okay. Are there ways at Sculpey's? Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, a little bit of time in between sets, but they're proper, eh? Fuck, Kite Beach is actually dead, dude. There's almost no one at Kite Beach. There's five kites. Okay, sick. That sounds good. Yeah, the wave's actually getting a little bit better. Okay, cool. Sweet. Uh, Alright, sick. Enjoy your session. Shot, catch you later. Bye. Ciao.